Sagittarius hello welcome to my channel I'm and this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Sagittarius some of rising in Venus or wherever you have a heavy Sagittarius placement Wow so the first message that we have here is be honest with me okay there's a very serious energy with this card here so if you're wondering how your person is currently feeling about you they really seek to communicate with you, but they don't want to have any old conversation. They don't want to have a surface conversation. Even if you haven't spoken to them in a while, it's like they want to get right to it. And they only desire to have this conversation with you if you can be 100% honest with them. This is very, very serious energy, but not in a bad way. It's almost as if your person is very, very curious about something. Um, and it's about you, and it's something that's very important to them. Somehow they feel as if it relates to them in some kind of way. Okay, so this energy is coming through very calm, but also very serious. And I feel as if they're taking this approach because something about this feels very sensitive. This is definitely your person wanting to have like a heart-to-heart -heart moment with you. And the only requirement that they have is your 100% honesty. So your person may feel as if you're holding back some type of information about yourself that will help them better understand you or the connection. But I don't feel like this is intentional. I definitely feel like whatever this is, it's a conversation that they have been waiting for you to initiate with them. And this is something that your person has maybe been waiting for you to address and maybe the opportunity has never presented itself or maybe you just couldn't find the words to articulate what it is that you're feeling um, surrounding this topic. But I'm getting that this information that they are seeking, they need it to come from you. Like they need to hear the words coming from your mouth, Divine Feminine. Meaning that you're the only person who can clarify what it is that they're feeling. So yeah, this is something directly tied to their emotions, but they require some type of honesty from you, okay? I'm picking up on a masculine energy who reads energy very, very well, and they're also very tapped into your energy specifically. I'm also getting body language as well, so they know you and they pay very close attention to you. And something about your energy aligned with them from the very, very beginning. This is someone that you clicked with very, very early on in your connection. But there's also this underlying energy here that they've been picking up on about you. Um, and they would like for you to confirm this, but I'm getting sensitive. So maybe this could be a very sensitive topic for you. Maybe this is something that you don't lead with, okay? Maybe this is something that only you know about yourself, but this is definitely something tied to you and your personal journey, Divine Feminine. And due to the level of energetic bond that you share, your person has definitely picked up on this energy, okay? I'm getting specifically that with this masculine energy, something that you both share in common is that you are very private people, okay? You don't let people in easily, um, or you just don't reveal much about yourselves unless you establish a really solid bond with someone. And your person is coming through kind of wanting you to open up to them. Maybe they feel as if you've established a deep enough bond to finally tell them this, whatever this is. Um, because this is something that they picked up on a while ago. And it's almost as if they're like waiting for you to address this. But the conversation never came up or maybe there was never an opportunity for you to speak about this. And for whatever reason, they feel like now is the time for this to be addressed, okay? So yeah, whatever it is they're seeking, whatever type of confirmation they're seeking, it's like they wanna have a conversation with you, but only if you can have like a raw, real, honest conversation. They're extremely curious about something that has to do with you, okay? Let's get the next message here. The next message we have is, you have to let this go. Wow, okay. I just got very specific. So this may not resonate with everyone, but 
divine feminine this is definitely a masculine who knows you on a much deeper level than you may think i'm getting that this is someone that you share an emotional body with meaning that they can feel your emotions intensely and they feel as if there's something you need to let go of but this is not something that you share it with them What's interesting is this is something that they've actually picked up from your energy alone. So maybe this is a chapter in your life that you really don't open up to anyone, but for some reason they feel directly affected by this. And they're trying to figure out how to address this. But whatever this is, it's very sensitive. So it's like they're very serious. It's like a very serious kind of energy, but they're also being very careful with this as well. This could be a very delicate um, situation, a very delicate topic here. So they're being very careful with this or they plan to be careful in how they discuss this with you, okay? Or how they kind of bring this to your attention. And they're wanting you to open up and be honest with this because they feel like it's something that you're holding on to. But what's interesting that, what's interesting is that this is something that's external to your connection. I don't feel like this is something that um, is happening directly between you and your divine masculine. So I don't know if this energy is tied to another masculine energy. Maybe this has to do with your core relationships. So this could be a family member, this could be a friend, okay? But something took place in your life. And I'm getting that this was a very painful experience for you, divine feminine. Your energy is coming through now. So this very well may have happened to you on a lower timeline. Maybe this happened before you met your person or this energy could have been very present when you met them. But whatever this is, it was definitely a painful experience that's being highlighted. Or this is something that you do not speak about, but you still kind of carry this energy with you, okay? This could also be something that you're actively trying to heal from at this time, but I'm getting whatever this is, it is not a vibrational match for where you are now and where you're trying to go. And your person wants you to tell them because they can feel this in your energy. Okay, I feel like there, whatever this external energy is, it has the ability to arise and maybe cause an imbalance within yourself, your personal journey, okay, your emotional body, your mental health. Um, yeah, I feel like this could also have something to do with that full moon that we just had. That was a very, very powerful energy, but it was a very powerful energy for you to purge. So there was a lot of emotions that came to the surface to be readdressed. So this could definitely be something attached to a lower timeline, something that's external to this connection. Maybe this is an ex, an actual ex from your past, um, another masculine energy, a core relationship here, okay? But I'm getting that, it's almost as if your person feels like they can feel your emotions, okay? And they don't like this feeling. Whatever this is that's attached to you, they don't like it. Because being the divine feminine, your emotions are what drives this connection. So when you're feeling happy and upbeat, your person can feel it. But also when you're feeling down or when you're feeling sad or emotional, they can feel this as well. And it's like they're automatically going into fix it mode. That's the type of energy they're assuming. Maybe they don't wanna overstep, okay? But whatever this is, it feels very, very heavy. And I feel like this is something you may have been trying to actively heal from Divine Feminine. So this is a masculine who loves you, okay? Who feels very, very connected to you and feels that it's something that you're carrying and they're telling you to let it go. And it's, it's so heavy that they actually feel as if they're carrying this with you at this time, okay? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what this could be, but they feel as if, I definitely feel this is an external energy, okay? This could be something small. This could be something that you already heal from. Maybe it's coming back up to, to the surface here. Um, but they want you to be free from this. They don't like when your energy is affected at all. This is a masculine that's very, very protective of you as well. So just the thought of this kind of, you know, upsets them but they're still trying to approach this carefully. And more importantly, they want you to know that you can come to them and tell them everything. So yeah, I'm getting purge.
So when this happens, when this conversation happens, because I feel like this divine masculine will definitely be reaching out to you, wanting to talk to you, wanting to have a really deep conversation with you. They don't want you to hold back. They want you to know that they can handle this. They can handle your energy, okay? They feel like if anyone can handle it, it's them. So yeah, um, this also may be something that they may be able to relate to. You may be surprised at how much your person have in common, how much you and them have in common, because I'm picking up that you are a very, very, this is a divine feminine who's very, very private, okay? Maybe you like to deal with your things in private. You're not the one who openly discusses a lot of the things, especially the heavy stuff that you go through. But where your person is right now, if you're wondering how they're feeling, they no longer want you to feel this way as if you, you cannot come to them. Um, and they no longer want to approach these types of things in that manner. They want raw, real honesty from you because this is someone who definitely loves you, okay? Wow, I just got clearly, I want all of you, okay? So we're talking about <laughs> your lightness, um, your, your shadow side, all of it, okay? This is somebody who wants like the raw version of you. So I don't know where you are on your journey right now, Divine Feminine. Um, you may be going through an extensive healing process. You could definitely be clearing up your energy at this time. But your person definitely feels tapped into your energy. They feel that you're carrying something heavy. Um, and they know this because they can feel it as well. So this masculine may be very intuitive. But I'm getting something about energy. They either read energy very well. They're able to feel people's energy. So let's get into the next message here. Okay, so the next message we have is, I really wish you knew this. Hmm. Yeah, this, this is your masculine wanting to come through and have a heart-to-heart -heart with you, Divine Feminine. Their main focus at this time is speaking to you. Maybe you haven't talked to them in a while. Maybe you haven't had a really deep healing type of exchange. But that is what they're desiring at this time. And I'm getting specifically, they want you to know how they really, really view you. Maybe you don't know how they truly feel. And it's almost as if they want you to know that they see you clearly. And this could be maybe due to your journey. Maybe you question how far you've come. Maybe you even question your masculine love for you. But at this stage, that's no longer acceptable for them. This is a major clearing that's happening and, and this will be in the form of emotional expression, okay? I'm also getting something about the details. So when they approach you with this conversation, okay, they're gonna be pointing out all the small things that you may think they overlook or don't pay attention to. They want you to know that they know you very well, that they are very much so tapped into your energy, okay? Um, they're not holding back. And they feel as if you need to know this right now, okay? Something very urgent about this card right here with this, you know, I really wish you knew this type of energy. Um, it's almost as if they want to highlight something about you. But you will know this message is for you if when you met this masculine, you were moving from one timeline to another. You could have been closing out a major cycle in your life. But whether you know it or not, this masculine has seen glimpses of your past. Either you shared bits and pieces with them about your story, about your journey, or they picked up on this energetically. And what they want to point out is that this actually made them love you even more. It added to your value, okay? For them to see you in another light or in another timeline, it's almost as if they feel like they met a total different version of you but they find beauty in what it is that you would consider to be your lower point in life. And they, they want you to know this, okay? They want you to know that none of that stuff matters. So I don't know what type of emotions you may be holding on to Divine Feminine um, that's external to this connection. Maybe this is spilling over into the connection. Maybe this is shaping how you view yourself, how you view your masculine energy. They feel this. It's like they want to affirm you. They really wish that you knew how they view you. And more importantly, 
how the world views you, okay? Yeah, because there's something being pointed out here about how other people view you as well. Like your masculine isn't the only person who views you this way. You have a very, very radiant spirit that makes people want to know more about you, okay? And also, they want you to know that you have this ability to attract a lot of different types of energies around you. But they also know that you're extremely private and you don't let you don't let people in easily as well. So the only way that people will be able to fully experience you is to get really, really close to you. And this is something about you. This is the quality that they love. This makes them feel really, really special because you treat your energy very, very sacred, okay? They want to affirm you as it pertains to whatever this heavy energy is that you're carrying. They don't want it to taint, you know, this connection, how you feel at this stage, okay? So yeah, maybe this is something that you felt wasn't going to come up in the connection. Um, maybe this is something that you haven't discussed with anyone, but your person right now is like, look, they're going to come at you. They're going to ask you, you know, they may ask you questions. You may feel them like probing a little bit, trying to get information. You could just feel their energy probably really, really heavy at this time because they're assuming a very curious position in this connection right now as it pertains to you and your energy for some reason okay so i don't know where you are on your journey okay this could be various you know different um stages but right now where you are there's a highlight on emotional expression and your person wanting to speak to you okay so maybe there's something about the tone of your voice your emotions but this is a masculine who picks up on your energy very well even if you haven't been around them in a long time, maybe you have a telepathic communication, maybe this is how you communicate with your person, depending on how energetically bonded you are. But yeah, they feel something heavy in your energy, Divine Feminine, and they're going to approach you about this, okay? Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have is, I need your help. Okay, so if this message is resonating so far, your masculine has been picking up on some heavy energy coming from you lately that they feel like you need to let go. And this is a masculine that you share an emotional body with. So whatever you feel, they feel. But I'm, I'm getting, it's, it's deeper than that, okay? Because I keep getting like something about the energy here. You may be feeling your masculine very, very intensely at this time because they need you, okay? They need your help with something. And your energy, your emotions, and your overall well-being is the key to this. But whether you know it or not, Divine Feminine, every single thing that you do affects them. I'm getting my teammate energy. Maybe this is something that your person is realizing. Maybe this is something you both are realizing at the same time that you are a team. And this is the overall energy of your connection right now. Or this is where your connection could be headed, could be heading. But as a divine feminine, you possess a very powerful energy. And you have to be careful because everybody doesn't know how to handle you. But your divine masculine does. And what's being highlighted right now is that everything about how you love is different. You do things in a very specific way. Everything that you do has the ability to heal one another or it can actually create a barrier. And this energy, I need your help, may be coming through a little bit dramatic, but your masculine is coming through saying, I need you. I need your love. I need your energy, Divine Feminine. They don't want anyone else to access you in this way or to have any other energy lingering within your emotional body because they can feel it. Okay, so let me try to explain this because this is like very powerful energy coming through. I hope this is coming through clearly right now. But your masculine is assuming a very protective energy. And this is about sacred exchange. 
this is not like a draining type of way where they're like pulling on you or they're trying to access you or use you as some type of source or anything like that. Um, this is your divine counterpart and they're coming into the realization that you both share this energy body and you have the ability to heal and replenish one another simply by tapping into this energetic bond that you have, okay? I'm getting high vibrational. So this is pointing out that your masculine may very well be at this place where they're learning the difference between high vibrational love and low vibrational love in the terms of energy and how this feels to them inside of their emotional body. And how one has the ability to drain you and the other has the ability to replenish you in a sense. And I've just got like a really excited energy. This is like mind blowing to them. But they're thinking back to all the times that you were together, especially if you were intimate with this masculine. This was an absolutely mind blowing experience to them. Okay. One that they cannot even put into words. One that's just a feeling, you know what I mean? That is so intense, so passionate. They can't even put it into words. And if they were, you have, you know, been intimate with your person, they're feeling this energy right now at a very heightened level. But where they stand, they're in amazement of your power, Divine Feminine. So at this time, what they're asking you, that's why this conversation that they want to have, they want to be 100% honest. They want you to come to them and feel as if they can handle whatever it is that you're going through, okay? And they want you to be honest because I'm getting that you're a private person. You're not someone who opens up easily, but this is something that you and your masculine share, okay? They want you to purge anything that could be in the way of this newfound information because they're extremely excited about this but this is like on a much deeper level they view you as a life partner they feel that you have something that completes them in a sense or that helps them to go out into the world and maintain this high vibration and it's deeper than them wanting you okay they realize at this stage of your connection that you are a necessity that your energy is a necessity, okay? You feel this way as well. But you are very, you may feel very, very close to your person at, at this time right now. I'm getting your energies are really in sync. But by having this access to you in this way, this is teaching them a very valuable lesson about love, but specifically about how to love you properly, Divine Feminine. And they may not have even opened up and told you this yet, but... I'm getting this connection alone has taught them more about life and love than anything they have ever experienced. And they're extremely excited about this. They realize that they need your help. That you and your emotional state or your emotional body are a vital part of this connection. And being the feminine energy and really working with the subconscious realm, all of that ties into, you know, your emotions, your thinking, your mindset. You both play two very different roles and both of these roles are very powerful and very vital. So Divine Feminine, because you share a chakra system, your mind, your emotions are driving this masculine and the physical. It's almost as if you have this access to the 5D which then trickles down to the 3D where this masculine feels inspired to act. And I feel like this is that energetic sacred exchange energy that they're coming in contact with right now that they're realizing the difference between high vibrational love and low vibrational love, high vibrational intimacy and low vibrational intimacy, how one has the ability to drain your energy and suck the life force from you while this connection somehow has the ability to replenish them in a way that they have never felt before. So when you both are in the flow and you have this balance, there's like this constant flow of energy. But what they've been feeling lately is that something is kind of blocking your energy divine feminine. And they're coming through a little territorial about it because they don't know if this is coming from maybe a previous relationship, if this is coming from, you know, somewhere in your core relationships here, they just feel this blockage. 
somehow. Maybe they're trying to communicate with you. They're trying to tap into your heart space. Okay, so they're coming towards you. It's like they want to clear this energy. Now that they have realized how powerful this connection is and how vital your emotional body is, you being the powerful feminine energy, they are like they're coming in to do whatever it takes to make sure they're in fix it mode. So they want you to speak to them, but the only thing they require is a hundred percent honesty because they feel like whatever this is, they want it to be purged and removed. Okay. So I feel like this is for Divine Feminine. This may be very, very specific. I keep getting specific, okay? So this is for Divine Feminine who is actually healing. I feel like this is pointing to a connection where you aligned, where you may have been smack dab in the middle of two totally different timelines. Maybe you were connected to some outside energy. Maybe they were. You can take the energy how it resonates. This could apply to the Divine Masculine, but right now I'm getting Divine Feminine energy. And somehow this, this energy arises and it affects your connection in some kind of way. And your person is picking up on this. They're realizing that you're bonded. When you are happy and vibrant, they feel happy and vibrant. And this shows up in their physical reality. And also when you are, you know, in doubt, when you feel sad, when you have these energies that rise up, they feel this too and it affects them in their daily life, okay? So this is mind blowing. They may very well have just stepped into this information. Maybe they're putting the pieces together, but yeah, they figure something out. And you know, they're gonna come and they're gonna ask you what it is that you're going through. Is it something that you need to talk about? Something that you need to discuss? You know, they wanna have a raw, real heart to heart conversation with you because they don't want this to act as a barrier anymore, okay? Let's get the next message here. Yes, the next message we have is something is missing. Yeah, they definitely found that. Okay, this is like a very excited energy for the divine masculine, okay? Um, because they feel like they found the missing piece. Whether you know it or not, they've been searching for a long time, trying to figure out what it was about you and this connection that stood out. There was like this missing piece of information and they feel like they found it, which is like a big sigh of relief for them because they couldn't understand exactly why they were feeling your emotions so intensely or why their emotions would go up and down like out of their control, okay? And I feel like they have changed their approach as it pertains to your connection. So instead of them running when they feel this intensity, they're beginning to approach this with a more curious type of energy, which is always a powerful position to be in because asking questions and admitting that you don't know something or being curious about something puts you in a position to be a student of love and of life, okay? And that is how they're approaching your connection from now on. So your person's love for you is growing and expanding in many, many ways. And they are very, very curious about you at this time. But you definitely may feel their energy heavily, okay? Um, don't be surprised if they contact you wanting to talk. And they may really, really open up to you unlike before because they feel really, really close to you. They have this insight. Okay, they've seen your entire story, your highs, your lows. Even if you have not addressed this with them, they can feel it in your energy. They are you, they're connected to you, okay? And this energy is rising because it wants to be addressed. It wants to be cleared at this time, okay? And also I'm getting that they want you to feel comfortable to do the same. So there is emotional expression coming your way, Divine Feminine. This could be telepathic as well, depending on where you are in your journey and how energetically bonded you are to your person. Because there, in this connection, there are so many forms of communication within this dynamic. But this one right here, emotional expression, is what's being highlighted at this time. And it's what your person is seeking. So you may feel the energy rising. You may feel as if something is on the horizon, okay? Especially if your person, you know, has access to you in that way. 
you definitely may feel their energy heavily at this time, okay? Um, also, with the I Need Your Help card, this is just, this just came to me. There's a lot of repressed sexual energy that your person is feeling as well. A lot of sexual frustration that they're feeling as well. Um, and there's also something very, very, very healing about being intimate with you. So you may feel your person's energy at night as well. This may be something that is new to you or could be catching you off guard. And maybe this is something that you're absolutely comfortable with depending on where you are. But they're definitely drawing close to you at this time, okay? Let's get the next message here. The last message. Yes. The last message we have is you really have no idea. Okay, yeah. Um, this this masculine loves you, divine feminine. And what's being pointed out in this message, if this is resonating with you, is that they love all of you. And maybe they feel like you don't know this, but they don't want you to question this anymore. And as far as whatever this energy is that they feel like it's blocking them from you, they want you to let it go. This is something that they are very, very serious about at this stage. They feel like you belong to them and they don't want anyone having access to you in this way, especially energetically because they can feel it and they don't like it very much, okay? So get ready, Divine Feminine, prepare yourself because you have a very territorial Divine Masculine that's rushing in towards you, wanting to have a sacred, passionate, heart-to-heart -heart conversation with hopes that you both can kind of clear up some energy so that you can be closer and deepen this intimacy Sorry, within this connection. Yeah, so this was a very, very specific message. Um, I hope that it reaches the divine feminine that it was intended for. I also hope that it came out clear in a way that, you know, it was relayed to me. So if you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.